Do you guys seem to like Massalia? So here we are with another part to the series where today we are going to be fighting a lot of internal instability with our government, with our provinces and the Gauls and Iberians all around us and maybe a cherry on top of fighting Rome as well. If you want to see all of that guys, make sure you do like and subscribe and if you want to see part one, check out the link in the description down below 200 likes and we'll do a part three as well without further ado let's get into the video so here we are back as massalia guys and we have set up a pretty nice little kingdom over here we're just going to go through a quick recap of where we are on the mission tree we actually haven't come very far so our focus is mainly going to be on completing these missions which includes attacking these guys again after the disaster of the attack last time, attacking these guys and then marching onwards down the coast of Iberia. So that is going to be the main plan because the other way around, although we can take Gymnasia, um, we're not going to be able to reclaim Corsica or anything like that. <laughs> because the Romans and Etruria have it. In terms of our government, guys, we are still a republic. Honestly, I'm considering going towards autocracy if we have uh, the decisions in here enshrine aristocracy it's 30 stability to do so um but yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> i would like to do it because we aren't very happy with the uh, the senate at the moment i mean the traditionalists have zero support the democrats and the oligarchs are okay but um <laughs> yeah the traditionalists don't like us too much and a big part of the reason why the traditionalists don't like us is because we have two druidic deities in here so we are going to want to change them out pretty soon when our stability is a little bit higher of course because that's going to be slightly annoying also yeah that three percent discipline is good but even something that's not related to that so like unintegrated culture happiness would be very good but um, yeah, 15 stability, we can't afford to lose that right now. In terms of our pops, guys, we have 388 pops, which is really not good. <laughs> it's so, so few for the amount of land we have. And what is most shocking of all is our research efficiency. Because we have conquered these uh, lands that obviously don't have nobles, that don't have citizens for us, we are getting no research from these lands at all basically so we're gonna have to invest heavily and also we make so little money because we have so few cities as you can see what do we have five cities and that's it in this whole area that is genuinely shocking that is so so bad so that is why we make so very little money at the moment and that is precluding us from getting legions because we need money for legions guys and we just have no money so i think the best thing is to just expand like crazy and see what we can do <laughs> oh well here we go guys here we go <laughs> and instantly we got 8k barbarians as soon as i press play and we can't raise our levies oh you know this is gonna be tough guys <laughs> well i think we're gonna start expanding out this way down into iberia initially i'm gonna fabricate a few claims down here unfortunately these guys do have some good allies but i'm hoping vasconia is gonna help us out here because they have a pretty decently sized army overall we just got professional training that should allow us to change these laws going forward potentially get it the provisioning act now we can't do that at the minute because our stability is so low. So we do need to get our stability up and then we'll be good. And we've got our claims, guys. Let's go. So we're going to declare war on these boys. We don't need Vasconia for this. They might even steal the land. So, um, yeah, we're just going to pop onto here. We've got our boys. We've got them in deception at the moment because we have a lot of archers. We've got a decent number of heavy infantry. And we do have heavy cavalry. But, uh, yeah, we don't have much heavy cavalry. But heavy cavalry is... Quite good, <laughs> as we've just seen, guys. And they're already trying to sue for peace. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. We, we're going to be taking all of your land. You can keep running if you want to, but... <laughs> oh, come on. We've got to catch him. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I don't know how so jolly. This is such a horrible situation we're in. <laughs> and honestly, although I hate to do it, we're going to allow the looting to be gentle. Because... 
we need more pops just just in general more pops but that is uh another war over my friends another war over so let's get this one done and uh we'll be good to go for the next one and thank you to sol invictus who gave me the tactic of imprisoning the leaders um which i think is a, a very good tactic because i've been using it in my own games and now what we can do is we can sell all these guys into the oopsies for a little bit of tyranny i mean we do have a lot of tyranny right now um so, yeah, we'll do that later when we've got a little bit less tyranny. <laughs> On to the next one, guys. And this is actually going to be a little bit of a large, larger war. They don't have anyone too big, but we are going to call in Vasconia. I'm just going to 100% make sure, though, that we get this territory. Because we want this bit here so that we can come down the coast and take a little bit of this. There's also, um, there are some cities here. We're going to take a city in this war. Oh, glorious, guys. On to number six. City number six. I mean, look at Rome. <laughs> they will have a... They have a... How many do they have in Latium? They've got five just in Latium. Um, yeah, we're, we're a little bit behind with all that stuff. The problem is, because we've got no cities, we're not making any money. And therefore, we can't build any more cities. <laughs> So we're just stuck in this horrible, horrible cycle of poverty, which I guess is, you know, pretty symptomatic of real life, really, isn't it? <laughs> well, luckily, they are just going after uh, Vasconia, which is quite good for us. I'm happy to uh, let them do that. Completely happy to let them do that. We've also got no manpower. Our max manpower is 3,700. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. This is... This is just... Just pain. <laughs> okay, so... Because of... I'm assuming because of our tyranny... And the fact that we're not that popular... They want to institute shortened terms. I mean... <sighs> so it's literally a two-year term. I mean... That's going to allow us to... Change our governors around a little bit? But... That's just terrible. That That is not good. There's no stability of power then, is there? Well, we've taken the lands that we do want to take, which is this area, this side of the river over here. Now, I am considering taking all this as well, if we can. Luckily, we have taken this bit to block off the Vasconians, and they are taking the brunt of the enemy, to be fair. We, I mean, like, our lands haven't even been touched. They're, they're not touching us, which is pretty good for us. So, nice and chill so far. But we do have another level 2 fort to take. Now that we've got a little bit of stability, let's get rid of that druidic din uh, druidic deity. I'm going to keep Taranis for now. Um, I just... There's one druidic one in here that I would really like to take. Where is it? I can't... Re research pops and po uh, pop a simulation speed, but... <laughs> the whole point is to change away from these guys. So I think we're going to go... I mean, the monthly stability change would be absolutely lovely. But I think we're going to go for... Political influence and research points. I think that is a very good plan. Let's go. There's two techs that we really, really need to get ASAP. Gradual economic integration over here. And open religion in the religious advances. And both of those techs are going to really, really help us. Because it's going to allow us to get Grand Theatre. Which gives Popper Simulation Speed plus two, guys. Which is insane. You can see it's on 0.32 right now. But two is going to be insane. And then on top of that, Great Temple, which is also plus two for conversion speed. So, yeah, we need to get that and build both of those buildings in all of our cities ASAP. Here we go. Big battle, boys. Big battle. Let's go. Let's see how we do. Oh, this is tight. This is close. This is close. We are using the right tactic, though. And 118% discipline. Come on. Maybe getting those military uh, <laughs> those military things at the start was pretty good. And this guy gets steadfast as well. Very nice. Well, there we go, guys. I think we've got what we want now from this war. So let's get out of it. We want this land. I'm also going to take this land. It's going to block off Vasconia from expanding down here, which I think is a good play for us overall. In terms of the rest of the land, yeah, I I'm not too bothered about the rest of it. That's all good more population that's not very happy with our 
with our rule. We're not going to imprison the leaders this time because um, I want to get rid of some of that aggressive expansion for our expansion down in the south. We're going to delete that fort straight away before this these people become disloyal. <laughs> are we uh, converting? We are. Fantastic. How is that not our mission? Are we missing a bit of land for our mission? Okay, we're missing this bit of land here for our mission. So we're going to have to get another claim. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We could get the claim on this area with a single pop. I don't think so. <laughs> well, next one, let's go towards open religion. It is better, guys, just so you know, to get religious conversion going first before you convert the population because once they are converted to your religion, it's a lot easier getting them converted to the population. So it's better to do it that way around. And in general, in general, as you can see here, there's no assimilation at all. There is conversion of the religion. So it's a bit easier in general to get the religion converted rather than the population. So you want to do it that way around. So that's why we're going for open religion to start with. Well, we've got a new claim, but there is a big war going on between these guys and these guys. And I would like to see that out, honestly. I wish we could see... Okay, plus... It's literally just plus 20. Yeah, I, I want these guys to take as much land here as possible, and then we can come and just munch the rest of it. I mean, that's the plan anyway. Let's see if it goes to plan. Well, we've got a couple of missions here to make Mago into a city... And then we get sort of um, settlers and a choice of a permanent bonus. So I don't know what that bonus will be, but that sounds good. So we're going to use a bit of our cash and influence to make Mago into a city. Another city, guys. Always good. Always good. Oh. <laughs> well, the opposite happened. These guys won and uh, took all the land. So we don't even have a claim on this anymore. <laughs> We have to get it. Spent 25 influence for a single population. Are you joking me? <laughs> Come on. Let's see how good these guys are going to be. I mean, I'm assuming they'll have quite a large army. Where are the rest of... The okay. Yeah, their friends are not that scary. Worst comes to worst, we'll get some cheeky mercenaries. We don't have much manpower. That's the only problem. So, probably going to be relying on Vasconia quite a bit again. <laughs> And here we go, guys. We are getting ours right now. Very nice indeed. Another tradition, guys. And, I mean, we just got this for the Freeman. This allows us to get Phalanx, but we have so few Spearmen that it, it's basically useless. So what I think we're going to do is go down to Siege Ability. Honestly, guys, stacking Siege Ability in this game is so OP. So we're going to start stacking it. I mean, that's just our first start of a stack, but... um. There's a lot of text we could get as well, but that's a long time in the future. <laughs> and this is exactly why we kept this level 2 fort in place here. It stops them getting any further up the river. Can't even siege it right now. They're just literally standing there <laughs> and getting attrition to death, which is very, very nice if you ask me. And Hemerus Kapion down here does still have Massalian Pops, guys. A whole six. Yeah. <laughs> Well, honestly, at this point, I think we're done. I just want the coast. It's a little bit weird, these missions. So if we have a look at the mission here, to so take that land, to take the east coast is there. There's no mission for this middle bit. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care either. I just give me this land. It'll be, it'll be nice. Do you take any of this land? I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, we might as well. We, we might as well. <laughs> Yes, we're now a major power. Somehow. Somehow we have become a major power. Somehow. <laughs> and that is another three cities, guys. Let's see what they've built. They built a marketplace and a port. That's good. That's good. What about Arcus? Oh my god, they've got a great temple already there. Something we can't even build. Well done to the Iberian tribe able to build that. I mean, training camp, we don't need that though. <laughs> And then an academy and a, and a port. I mean, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. At this point, I think our governors kind of know what we what we want from them. Automatically going on religious conversion already. <laughs> nice. All right, let's clean up this little bit. Get this single piece of population. I mean, who who is going to help them? Oh, these guys are going to come back to war with us. 
That seems dumb. Oh, no, that's a different guy, isn't it? It's a different guy. So, um, that's actually good because we do want this land. Oh, and Mago has become a city, guys. Just the good things keep coming thick and fast. Let's go. Well, there we go. Mago now gets a naval academy, which is pretty good. It's a curious sight seeing our Masalio ships training alongside the pirate fleets from Mago that used to attack our navies upon sight. <laughs> Ah, before Nicocrides came into power and changed everything. He changed everything, the whole world. Uh, Realising that the inhabitants of Mega were masterful sailors, perhaps even equal to our famous Phocaean ancestors, Epicurus won over their notoriously hostile pirates by improving the infrastructure of their islands once we had taken it, a task that the privateers have neglected. No doubt due to the amount of time they sent prowling the Mare Valerium. Okay, that's, that's good. Ship recruitment speed and starting experience. That is good. Now we've got a couple of missions we can do. Okay, cool. Yes, we can get received settlers and choice of permanent bonus. Let's do that. Everything comes down to money. So Massalia gets local tax plus 25% and population growth plus 0.1. Or we get population growth plus 0.25, which is insane, guys. That is a huge bonus. And assimilation speed plus 15%. Well, I think that depends on the, the makeup of Massalia. I mean, 54 of the population in these lands are Gallic. And we can see Saluvian, Ligurian. Yeah, I, I mean, hmm. the thing is, later on in the game, that's not going to be as powerful as the tax. But for now, I think it's pretty good. We just need more Massalians, the guys. And that population growth is actually insane. So, um, yeah, let's go for that. Oh, no. Well, we have an issue, guys. We have a serious, serious issue. These guys came back and took Pops away. Oh. <laughs> so that means we're not going to be able to, to do any of these missions for a little while. Uh, <laughs> I wish these would accept... Like, without uncolonized provinces. Because, honestly, sometimes you do some of these, especially as Rome. Like, especially out here. They ask you to take, like, provinces like this. And, like, half of it's uncolonized. So, basically, you're just hampered by the mission for such a long time. Because there's a, there's a, there's a place uncolonized that you are not going to be able to, to make anything happen there. Because, as you can see, guys... None of this area is our culture. We have some Massalians here. Not many. So, yeah, it's, it's just an absolute nightmare, honestly. But let's just see what we can do. And now I think it's time to chill a little bit. See if we can colonize those two provinces. See if we can expand some of our stuff. I'm going to delete a few forts. Unfortunately, though, down here, we don't have many forts anyway. Anyone can just sort of march through this land. So I think the main thing, we'll get rid of these forts here. And basically, this looks like this southern land. I don't care about it that much. It's not my culture, my religion. So, yeah, we'll get rid of all the forts down here. And basically, just try and say, if you want to come to actual our land, you have to got to go across this river past a level 2 fort. Well, our research efficiency is now up to 70%. I think that is because of one of these cities has three libraries. Which one? Hemescopion? No. One of these does. This one, maybe. No. Which which goddamn city has three libraries? This one. Okay, this one. So we're going to build a few more libraries around. Try and get that uh, research up so we can finally get some grand temples, guys. Finally. And just as we were starting to get a little bit more stable, guys. Road has been destroyed in an earthquake. <laughs> That was the place that we had Masali and Pops as well. Ah, uh, what a disaster! This is this. This is pain. This is pain. <laughs> being Greece, being Greek in Gaul and Iberia, it's not the one, guys. It's not the one. <laughs> On a positive note, we have got our research efficiency up to eighty-five percent now, which is pretty good, making twenty research points, um, which is a lot, a lot better than what we started with. So um, that is because we have been building um, a few libraries around, uh, and that's about it. We're still probably not good enough to fight all these guys at once, unless there's a massive war over here in Gaul. So yeah, I think honestly the plan now, let's play tall 
for a little bit. Try and uh, get into these areas. And then we can do some of our missions. Uh, and then just see what happens. Oh, and for some reason, we can actually colonize Eto Basa. Either way, that's a good idea. Now we can do a mission. Oh, glorious. The eastern coast of Iberia. We will see claims on all the provinces of Tarakanesis. I mean, haven't we just taken all them? <laughs> oh, no. That is all of that area. Um, Yeah, we could betray our ally, but hmm. Interesting decisions we've got to make, I think. <laughs> Interesting decisions. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to ditch Vasconia as an ally. Good ally they have been, but we're going to betray them and we're going to take Arvernia as an ally instead. They may block some of our expansion, but honestly, for the time being, they should be rather, rather nice. And finally, guys, we can do open religion. I've saved up a little bit of money, so that should allow us now to convert these areas a lot, lot quicker. I mean, a couple of these areas now are decently Hellenic. Decently. So we'll try and build them in places that that aren't so Hellenic, shall we say. This shortened terms generally is just destroying, destroying our, um, our political support, guys. Civil war is on the horizon every single second of the day. So we're going to go for extended terms. Hopefully, that is going to allow us a little bit more leeway, shall we say, in terms of keeping these guys happy. Because two-year terms is just ridiculous. Every single time when someone new comes in, I'm getting negative opinion with these guys. And it, literally, the Democrats are the only ones that are happy. So, yeah, we're going for extended terms. And hopefully, that should make them a little bit happy. I would also like to go for deny priests in senate too but we don't have the stability for that just yet well i don't know what has been happening with carthage and rome guys but carthage is pretty darn weak but like what is this Th that is horrendous and what is this how has carthage taken um etruria that's insane <laughs> I don't know what is going on over there, really. <laughs> Ooh, we can now uh, uh, colonize another territory. Yes, this one down here. Surely that allows us to do our, our next mission. Although, <gasps> this single goddamn area. Can we kill these guys? Oh, my God. <sighs> of course not. A single province. Oh, man. This is... Spain, man. Spain. <laughs> well, another military tradition. Let's go for siege ability. Well, um, we could get a claim on Rome. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, guys. I don't want to lose stability, though, so we're just going to have to take the tyranny. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, guys. Literally, literally, the RNG in this run is insane. Like, as soon as we were about to declare war on these guys, Carthage declared war on them. And now, Carthage has taken the bit we need. Man. Oh. <laughs> also, our country is falling apart right now. Our country is falling apart. Like, literally... I've put all of these on harsh treatment, and they're still losing loyalty, nearly all of them. Oh, man. It would be so nice if this, like... I know it's giving migration attraction and assimilation speed, but, like, some of these surely have got to give some pops, man. Please, it's just not possible without the pops. We just get absolutely ruined. But, um, I guess we're going to go after, uh, Vasconia, then. That is probably the play that we're going to go for. So, um, yeah, let's let's go for that and take more land that we can't hold on to. <laughs> right then, guys, let's go after Vasconia. Luckily, we can call in Arvernia and they've got no one else. Which province do we want to go for? Uh, Illergetia is the one. So let's go for that one. Let's go. Let's see how we do in this war. We're literally now just expanding just to get some money and just some hope back into our nation because <laughs> our nation has gone down the doldrums, guys. <laughs> it is dying. <laughs> well, at least the war is going pretty darn well. Obviously, the South, like I say, it's sacrificial. It's impossible to catch all these tiny little stacks as well, guys. 
Like I say, I think the warfare does need a little bit of a look at in the game. Um, like this sort of back and forth warfare style. Very, very frustrating. It's very much like uh, CK, uh, CK2 where it's just back and forth all the time. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh! What are we gonna do? We have a lot of money. That is one thing. Well, first things first, we need to get out of this war. Um, let's take what we can. We can't take that bit of land, but whatever. That spreads us across. Uh, <laughs> we can, we, we, we've, got, we've got something. National manpower for the boys. Ten military experience. Yay. <laughs> oh, no. Well, gather the men. Gather the men. How many ships do they have? I'm assuming they have a lot. I mean, we could just go for the Hail Mary and just go and plonk on Rome. Um, not sure that's a good idea, though. <laughs> oh, no. And for some reason, they're not attacking their war goal at the moment. I really don't know what they're doing. Probably just gathering their troops. But we're up to eight war score already because they, uh, they don't have the war goal. So maybe we can just protect the war goal? I mean, if we have a look around here, there are a lot of, like, Hellenistic pops. I mean, Rome has gone Hellenistic. Um, Hellenic, should I say. So, I mean, <laughs> could we do it? No, we, we can't. We can't do it, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We can't do it. I mean, we're already up to 10, and there's not been a battle yet. We currently have minus 24 for a white piece, so um, see what we can do. I mean, worst case scenario, we're going to get these two mercenaries that are right by our lands. And we're just going to sit on Rome. I think that's the, I think that's honestly the play. Let, let's just do that anyway. Let's just do that anyway. I'm just thinking, guys, do you reckon that Rome can't get access through Carthage? So they're just getting really confused right now and not managing to get their armies here. If that's the case, we might be able to take Corsica too. We're going to try with the Mercs because, honestly, I don't mind if they die. They're costing us a lot of money. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Hello, Romans. Okay, they have 80 ships, so... Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to land on Rome. Yep, and unfortunately, the Mercs didn't have enough morale to start with. So, yeah, they've... Completely died. Let's test our own troops against the Romans. Oh, Alverni, come on. Don't take this land for yourself, you fool. Hmm. I wonder whether we can get access. We can't get access through Carthage. Great. <laughs> well, apparently we're going to die pretty quickly. Let's see how bad we are against them. We've got 118% discipline. They've got 102, so... Honestly, don't know why we should lose this, but apparently we still are. I mean, they've got a minus two as well. How are we losing this, man? We should win. We should win. And we did win. Good, 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 good. Let's hunt down this stack. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We need to find them. We need to find them. Come on. There we go. That's good. That is really good. I'm also going to allow attach. See if Arverni is going to help with that maybe we'll even go and siege down that fort there's also this guy up here who we are hunting down bit annoying that he's managed to get into the backside of our lands but uh yeah it's fine okay where is he going because we need to kill him there we go another battle on massalia this is going to be a bloody bloody war if we are to prevail and oh they have uh, transferred across all the ownership of this I genuinely am considering going and standing on Rome, guys. I know it's a dumb idea, but some of the best ideas are dumb ideas, honestly. Oh my god, come on! On the literally the last moment they took the fort. God damn, come on, Mercs, you better be good this time. How is your morale is still so low? 
Your morale is awful. It's awful. It said you had nearly full morale. But we nearly are getting a white piece here. So let's make sure we go and kill this guy. Um... Wow, we've got a level 17 Marshall guy. He's not got much in everything else. <laughs> 17 Marshall. Wow, what a man. Honestly, we should probably put him here, but it, it's okay. It's okay. Right, we've wiped that army out that was around Massalia. So, yeah, we're just chilling for the time being. Um... Yeah, that five stack has lost a lot of men. So I think we just chill out down here, maybe. Chill around this fort. Try and get our morale back. We'll try and actually properly get our morale back. But yeah, I am I am I am gonna do this, guys. <laughs> I am gonna do this. We're gonna take it slow. But we're gonna see what happens. I mean, if we see their fleet at all, we will run away. Um there isn't any forts in between here and Rome, though. That is the one good thing. So, we can actually technically get onto Roman land now. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're, we're on. We're on. I mean, I don't mind sacking this, actually. Let's sack it. There we go. None shall hide. Fuck off, Rome. <laughs> and let's get our ships hidden. This army is sacrificial, bro. I know it's our levy and not a merc, but... It'd be funny as hell if we managed to destroy them. Also, we're bound down below 10% now again, which is not ideal. I'm actually going to get the fort defense again. That is crazy, guys. Two episodes in a row, fort defense, fort defense. If you are entertained by this, guys, please do like this video. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're somehow going to prevail, I feel like. And for God's sake, somehow again, they took it on such low percentage. These guys are incredibly annoying. We better win this time. We better win. And we're still losing. How are we goddamn losing this? Come on, man. Come on. Right. Mercs, your job is to siege down these places, okay? And the inevitable happened, guys. Our army is about to get destroyed. Run away, run away. Okay, well, that wasn't great. But what I think we will do is we're going to try that again with the mercs. And what we're going to do is we're going to assault Rome and see whether that works. Okay, while Rome is distracted, we are going to try and jump on Rome. I mean, how far away from a white piece are we? Right, guys, we're sneaking on again. Let's go. Let's go. We're also maybe going to have a civil war just because of a single guy. Why are you so, uh, so influential, my friend? <laughs> Oh, they've put it up to level two now, though. Ooh. I mean, we could even just sack these cities. I think we do that. Like, let's just sack a few cities. Take the cash. And are we going to lose this? It looks like we are going to lose. <gasps> oh, my God. It's so close. It's close. We're winning, though. Let's just get off. Oh, come on. Come on. We won. Yes. Come on, Rome, you fools. You fools. And we are just getting the, the inventions that we're getting at the minute. We're going for like assault ability and siege ability just to try to take Rome. Are there any like mercs around here that would be good? Oh, they've got a they're having a war with Regium. That is really helpful. That is so, so very helpful. Wow. Wow. Whew. I mean, I feel like we've got to risk this, guys. We just have to risk this. <laughs> Let's not risk our fleet, though. Let's get them into a port. Okay, a legion just walked by of 8k. They didn't engage us. Oh, <laughs> could we do this? <laughs> could we do this, guys? Oh, I'm getting excited, but I shouldn't be. This is... I'm just literally watching that. I don't care what's going on over here. Let's go and try and kill these guys. If we lose, we lose, you know? If we lose, we lose. <laughs> because we've got something more important going on. How many men is it? 931. We can't assault it yet. We, we still don't have enough men. We've got to win this based on the siege. Come on, give us a 7%er. 7%. I may even save and just keep reloading on 7%, boys. <laughs> okay. We won. We won this siege as well. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Rome. Come on, have some. If you think you're hard enough, Rome, you're not. 
You're not. <laughs> this is getting tense. This is getting so, so tense, guys. Come on, please. Please, 42%. 42%. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Watch us get killed now. Watch us get killed. Oh, yes. Come on. Room is ours, guys. Room is ours. <laughs> and we don't even have 10 war score. Really? <laughs> Really? We need to take back a few of these places then. So, uh, let's try and get 10 war score. Are they on low yet? They're on very low. <gasps> we just need 10 war score, boys. We need 10 war score. Come on. And let's take this as well. Let's take this. Let's just take some more land. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> That's 15. That's 15. That is 15 war score. And guys, <laughs> they would give us Rome. <laughs> they would give us Rome. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, do we push it? Do we push? I feel like that's a stupid idea. But we could take like... like Let's just take one or two more. Let's see if we can get this whole coast. Whew, let's go. Minus seven away, guys. Minus seven away. So I am just looking for like... Like, Neapolis would be good because it'll take Capua, which is a very good city. And then we need to just take, like, some of our own land back. So, uh, let's go and kill these guys and then we should be good. Honestly, guys, I don't think we can do all this. Like, we are losing sieges now. Like, we lost this one. If they take any land here, our war score is just destroyed, man. It's just destroyed. So, I think we've got to cut our losses. Let's reset this, and we're just going to take Rome. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Conquerors of Rome. There we go. Oh, my. We've, we've literally conquered Rome. <laughs> well, that, like, literally doubles the amount of cities we have. There's five cities there. <laughs> Nearly doubles it. And what do we want to do with Rome? I, I think we leave Rome. We don't want to destroy Rome. <sighs> We've done it. We literally conquered Rome. I cannot believe that. That was horrible. That was genuinely just horrible. <laughs> mercenaries, please. I've got no money. Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I do want to say, though, this mercenary company, they are conquering heroes. I'm sorry you're going to get fired, my friends. I'm assuming you're Celtic. Yeah, you're Saluvians. Um, but, but yeah, they are conquering heroes. Thank you. You did a very good job. And I'm sure they got a lot out of it, you know. Sacking Rome. What can you do? And the amazing thing about Rome, guys, is that they are already Hellenic. So we can uh, convert this uh, massive amount of population. Look, there's 200 population just in this province in Latium. More than 200 because that's only the, uh, the Italics. We can convert them uber quick, uber quick, because everything is already Hellenic. So, yeah, <laughs> what a result. <laughs> so, guys, let's go over our current situation. We have many, many disloyal provinces, including the Balearics. The problem is these governors keep dying and then they keep completely changing what, what's going on in each, in each settlement, uh, in each province. Uh, which is very annoying. I wish you could just have an option to toggle it so that they would stay the same. They just change it every time. And they die a lot. So, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we have a lot of disloyal provinces. Probably pretty unstable. We've got a lot of disloyal characters. The Senate. Surely the Senate's got to be happy with us. I mean, they're not even happy with us. Even though we've just conquered Rome, man. The Democrats are incredibly happy. The oligarchs are relatively happy. I'm thinking about empowering them so we can go to an autocracy, which would just be so much better than a republic at this point, honestly. I am sick of managing all these goddamn, like, nitpicky little characters. Oh, you, you're a bit tyrannical doing that. I don't care. I don't care. We've conquered Rome, man. We've conquered Rome. And, uh, yeah, of course, we now have Rome. The major issue with Rome is going to be food. So we're probably going to set up some imports for food because 
All of this area is cities, so they don't produce any food. This is iron. That's horses, wood. There is grain. That's good. And there is grain. So that is two good settlements for it. They do have farming settlements in them already. But because there's so much population, we're going to have to import even more food here. Whether we can keep hold of it, though, I have no idea. It has skyrocketed our economy. And honestly, converting these guys, I am not too worried about it. There's already some Greek people here. So, yeah, 1% per, um, um, you know, per month, which is pretty darn good. I mean, it's a lot better than some of these other places. 0.12%. So, yeah, it is a lot, lot better. So, our economy is going to be fantastic. We are still in a weak position. And I did want to make our empire in Gaul and Iberia, but... <laughs> We took Rome, guys. So I'm going to leave it there. If you have enjoyed that, please do like and subscribe. That was incredibly fun for me as well. 200 likes, guys, remember. And we might do a part three where uh, we might try and take on Rome again. Because they are a little bit weak right now, aren't they? They're a little bit weak. But wait, just before we go, guys, I wanted to say a big thank you to Pascal, Zero Suit Samus, and David D for being the channel members. If you want to join the channel, you can with the link down below for some exclusive perks. Without further ado, let's finish the video. I'm out.